what these people are doing here is they have this bean called cow peas or in Konkani it's called wasan there. They've grown it organically in the fields and they've sun dried them and now they've uh, broken the husk and they've taken out the husk which is basically used for fodder for cows. And uh, what we have over here are the beans which are used to be sold in the market or they eat them as well and it's also used um, to plant again for the next crop. Maja kenara ha, mudin kenara ha, mosri ha, bazri ha, bazri muti di lambu le ate plaku nai desoli, an an dusri ha, bari ka ha, shakro ti ha, tem bari bi bari ka tanu jate. Tanu jate, aur ye mirchi hai, pyaaz hai, arsanda hai, ye banate hain usme. This is compost found in each and every field in Goa that practices organic farming. Earthworms are put into organic waste and they convert this waste into compost. So what we have here is the local goan chili which is basically grown in every single field and is used in the cuisine and gives it its distinct flavour. As we see here in this field, they are grown organically with um, manure and vermicomposting waste as well as um, waste used from mulching. So basically from this documentary we want to say that it's very possible to be able to grow organic food sustainably without much cost and without much damage to the environment. The cashew is a legacy left by the Portuguese in Goa. Its origins lie in Brazil. The cashew is harvested in the period between the middle of January and the end of April. On harvesting, the fruit is first separated from the fleshy stem and then the nuts are gathered and roasted in an open fire. The roasted cashew nuts are quite tasty and are well favoured in Goa. The fleshy stem is then put into a machine where it is shredded and where the pulp can be easily gathered. Further mashing is carried out by squeezing the pulp to extract the juice which is then called as Nero. This is done by using one's feet. A closed vessel containing Nero is heated over a fire. The evaporated fumes condense into an adjoining pot in which the liquid is then cooled. This process of distillation is carried out to obtain alcoholic beverages called the Urak and the Feni. The pulp that is collected after squeezing out the juice is put into a pit where it decomposes to form compost. This ensures that not a single part of the fruit goes wasted. Mangoes are a rich part of Goa's crop produce. Mango trees flower seasonally, usually once in every two years. Harvesting the mangoes is carried out on the brink of summer. There are several different varieties of mangoes. The most widely favoured are the Mankurad. By showing that there is enough money in agriculture, we hope to attract the youth and people back to farming. A lot of uh, social political changes have to take place in a, in a, uh, for us to shift from what is happening today back to what we used to do before, and that is organic farming. So organic farming is not a new thing, it always existed. Unfortunately, the new thing came in and destroyed the existence of the earlier patterns that come in. If small and marginal farmers work together, pool in resources, they collaborate, they can work or they can develop their own something like an agribusiness model and, um, and agriculture can be profitable for everyone involved. The thing that comes to mind is the fact that, you know, we human beings think that we are not nature yeah. and we are so disconnected from nature, okay? And uh, it's not about moving backward or moving forward. 
it's about leading and making choices of leading a healthier lifestyle. I think agriculture is a lovely way of life. I mean, for me, um, I think it's 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 away from the chaos of the city. I'm I'm a complete city slicker, if you will, and. Um, to be out in the open, I think it's just a very peaceful way of existence. And I really think people who have farms are very lucky people. And it's a shame that they want to sell their land off. So um, it could be looked at a little bit as a personal thing. I wish that all these farms remain. I hope these farms remain. So I want to do something to make sure that continues to be the case. But um, um, as far as the people go, there's been a lot of response from them. When they see a potential, people jump in and they are ready to make, um, you know, try and take projects forward as well. So I think collectively we can develop a model that can be emulated around the state and let's see how it goes. Like I'll tell you one uh, plant of uh, Chitki Mitki tree, a couple of plants of Tirki Mitriki tree or a brinjal will give you crop for the whole family for the entire year. So it's not a big thing. All you need is a few square meters of land and you can grow your own crops. And But you have to make that decision. Through this documentary, we have shown how agriculture, which is an extremely tedious task, can now be done through an extreme sustainable way in which we use intelligent design to make this practice a sustainable one. This program is sponsored by Iona Fernandez Developers Private Limited. Hotel Siddharth the Goa. and Riera Eco Ventures.